Pacquiao recovers from surgery, top rank promoter one Bob Arum is working on his return to the ring. Arum told ESPN.com on Monday that Pacquiao will be back in February or March, but no later than the second week of April, he promises. Mm -hmm. Skip, yeah. what do you expect from your boy moving forward? He wants to fight a lot. Stephen A. Smith, obviously my man Manny Pacquiao is coming off very serious ro rotator cuff surgery and clearly he suffered said injury three weeks before he fought Floyd Mayweather Jr. So he fought with basically one arm tied behind his back and I still thought he won that fight on points because Floyd ran and ran and ducked and ran and ran and ran and ducked some more. We know that. So now Floyd May Mayweather Jr. has retired after he quote unquote fought Andre Berto. Well, I can guarantee you, Manny Pacquiao will not fight any Andre Bertos as he rebuilds himself toward fighting condition and will then challenge Floyd again. But obviously Floyd is now retired, so he will run and duck into retirement. And I don't think they'll ever fight again because Floyd would be afraid to fight a Manny with two arms two instead arms. of one. Well, Manny Pacquiao will come back to the game of boxing. I mean, he is obviously one of the great ones. Here's hoping he doesn't get put to sleep. Mm. Uh, doesn't look like if he took uh, overdosed on Ambien. Uh, let's make sure that we that nothing like that happens to him. Uh, David Garcia, I still think is probably a little bit too small for him. Keith Thurman is a fight that I would like to see. I'd like to see him fight a Canelo Alvarez or a rematch with a Freddie Roach trained Miguel Cotto. Who will Freddie Roach pick in that particular situation? to train. Mm. Uh, Manny Pacquiao, I have no doubt, will be even better because after getting schooled on the art mm. of boxing, like Floyd Money oh, Mayweather has done, one arm? I really believe How do you that school now, a one -arm fighter? I really believe that now since he doesn't, he, since he'll have guys that can't evade his punches and make him miss 400 times the way Floyd did, I think Manny Pacquiao will actually be great again. Yeah, because I he, agree. He won't be he'll able to fight he'll legitimate be able to hit, fighters. He won't, he will, he'll be able to yeah. hit other dudes. Yeah. Couldn't hit Floyd. Yeah. We'll see. You know what I'm excited for? Tomorrow, we have a great debate on this show. Who is truly America's team? The Yanks, the Cowboys? That, Do you have joke. others? It's a joke. Weigh in. We want to hear from you place of Josh McCown, who was out because of a concussion, Johnny Menzel led Cleveland to a 28-14 win over Tennessee. That led many people to wonder what would happen when McCown came back. Well, we have that answer. Josh McCown will start ahead of Johnny Manziel this Sunday when the Raiders come to town. That after McCown passing the NFL's protocol on concussions. Jerome Bettis is still here. Jerome, what does this mean for Johnny? Actually, uh, you, you may think I'm crazy. I think this is great for Johnny. Really? Everybody's saying, oh, man, you know, Johnny's going back to a backup. You have to understand part of this could be a test. They want to see how are you going to respond, okay, because we, you're, you're this new Johnny Menzel. How are you going to respond going back to the number two position after you had a good game? That's part of it, one, okay? Can he be mm -hmm. the, the, this veteran guy that, that he's claiming to be now, okay, and not this young, immature football player that he's once been? So now that's part of the, the process. But the other part is he's still developing as a quarterback. So now what you, you see that the things that you've given him in the offseason, they're they're paying off. They're working. So let's continue to develop him, continue to work with him. He doesn't know all of the nuances of the NFL, of the quarterback position. So now you're giving him a chance and he's, he's watching it. And now he's going to be a lot more invested in what's going on because he had an opportunity to play. And now he's going to make sure he's ready because he understands that he's a play away and it gives the public an opportunity to now in like Johnny Manziel again mm -hmm. because right now in Cleveland no one really likes Johnny Manziel so now you get this good game out of him now the public goes into his favor and the biggest part of all of this is Johnny Manziel's confidence now you get his confidence at a sky high you take him off the field you put him back in a learning situation and now he's going to soak up and want to learn more because he thinks inside you know what I'm ready. I know I can do that this. That winning is contagious. Because at the end of last season, he said some things about, well, if I can't get better, if I can't do it, I need to find something else to do. That is a sign that, that there's no confidence there as a football player. So now you're building his confidence, okay? You, you're building his resume. You're building his fan support. You're doing all these positive things, and he's learning at the same time. And you give yourself an opportunity to bring him off the bench as a spark plug if you need him. So I 
think this is nothing but a positive situation for, for Johnny Menzel. As long as he sees it that way and still understands that he has a great opportunity to get better. You buying that? Yeah, hey, I buy it. Um, he has to see it as an opportunity to get better. I think he will because I think the presence of McCown helps that. Um, if you had a quarterback that wasn't willing to help you, uh, that wasn't willing, that was experienced enough and wasn't willing to share those experiences with you and help guide you to elevate you, that would be different. But the fact that you're playing behind a quarterback that's willing to do that for you, I think goes a long way to facilitating Johnny Manziel's growth. And I think as long as he sees that, he's willing to learn. Because I think that, you got to remember, this would be far more difficult for him if it was the Johnny Manziel straight out of Texas A&M, who yes. never played in the NFL, who believed he was it and who was this guy. <laughs> but the fact that he struggled the way that he struggled last year, went through what he went through, plus had the off-season or off-the-field issues that he had, I think that that's humbled him to a point where somebody is gracious um, from from just just from a human perspective as Josh McCown is. I think that helps Johnny Manziel immensely. But Jerome, back to your point about how nobody in Cleveland likes Johnny right now. I think if you left this to a fan vote, Johnny would win the starting job against the Oakland Raiders this Sunday. You you disagree with that? No, I believe he he possibly would, but you know that's that that's that that. One game, we love you, and then you, you have a bad game, and then you go back uh, to the bottom of the heat. Look, do I think this current regime featuring Mike Pettin and Ray Farmer, do I think that they believe they have a little better chance to beat the Oakland Raiders with Josh McCown than Johnny Manziel? I believe that. I believe they would like Josh to play every game from here on out through the rest of this year because they think Josh could save their jobs better than Johnny could save their jobs at this point in Johnny's growth. I said this to start the show and I'm going to stick by it. On draft night, Patton and Farmer were not remotely on board with even drafting Johnny Manziel. So when the owner overrules you and the quarterback coach is on your side, he's no longer there. He's been replaced. It's, it's a bad situation from jump because you're, you're with two guys who are the, the two primary football decision makers who do not believe in you and your very unusual skill set. And as I, I always say, you, you either gulp the Johnny Kool-Aid or you're going to spit it out because it's going to have a bitter taste to you because it is completely unconventional. I think it makes them nervous. Josh McCown makes them very comfortable. So I'm not surprised they went back to Josh, though I think the fans, especially the season ticket holders, would rather lose with Johnny than lose with Josh because it's just a lot more fun. It's a lot more fun to watch, right? So they're doing what they need to do to save their jobs which I don't think will get saved at all. I think this will be their, their last year, one and done this year. So do you think, let me ask you this question, do you think it's beneficial for Johnny Menzel to go back to the backup role? Uh, like, like I said you know, earlier, I think it's a, bene it's a benefit, big benefit to him as the backup right the, now. The, the only reason I can see some positive there is this is the worst supporting cast offensively in the National Football League. No, no joke. Yeah. Isaiah Crowell, really? I, I mean, seriously? He did average more than four yards okay. carry. He, he's okay, but he's not Jerome Bettis, right? Yeah. He's right. not Sounds Emmitt good. Smith. There, there's no difference maker. I like Travis Benjamin a lot. He can fly, but he is not a difference making receiver, and he's the best of the bunch. The rest of them are all undrafted, unnameable type receivers. And your offensive line has a great left tackle, and the rest of them are turnstiles all down the line. So you're going to be running for your life. And God bless Josh McCown because it, well, you saw what he yeah. did. He, he vaults into the end zone, helicopters into the end zone, and got concussed. He's just trying to score, just trying to survive. They're all trying to survive. I hope Johnny winds up somewhere else. That's just me because I think this is an unwinnable situation in Cleveland. All I know is if Josh struggles on Sunday against the Raiders, we'll be hearing the Johnny oh, chants. Oh, yeah. You're <laughs> Backup gonna, quarterback you, quickly beca that. becomes the favorite. And you know what? The Raiders are no joke to me. Mm -hmm. they're, they're going yeah. to cause problems for uh, everybody. I they wanted play. to mention yeah, that. I, I'm, I'm, surprised, I'm pleasantly surprised at what I'm seeing from the Raiders. They don't seem as pathetic. Yeah, weird, after the first game, that. everybody kind of ripped Carr, him. Derek Carr was taken in the draft later mm -hmm. than, than Johnny Manziel. He was. Let's see what he does. Let's see what Amari Cooper does. Yeah. And some of those guys on defense, some really great pieces. Yeah. More first take after the break. Keep it here.